this is going to be one of those hands-on videos for those persons who you know you have already had an interest in learning how to connect those cables that are in the the system unit of your desktop computer i'm going to show you in this video how to do the wiring how to hook up those cables to the motherboard all right hey my name is roger and thank you for dropping by again and uh, please remember to like share and subscribe uh, to my channel if you haven't yet done so all right so without further ado let's jump right into the video the the processor and the heat sink and fan this component here already installed uh, but generally they would come disassembled so this would be separate that's the heat sink with the fan uh, would be separate from the processor the processor is underneath uh, so generally this would have to be installed now i have a couple of cables here so all of this here is from the power supply uh, these here are cables for the front panel of the system unit and you should be seeing a video or a picture of the front panel on the screen just about now so i have so those are the cables we have memory ssd that i'm going to be dropping in all right so i'm going to begin by stringing up the front panel so these cables here and uh, when you if you if you're if you're if you're doing this on your own if you're building a pc you want to make sure that you get the cables neat and cable inside so notice how i would have strapped all of these cables uh, neatly because you don't want the cables to be you know all messy inside uh, plus it does help in terms of airflow uh, so you want to get everything neat and tidy all right so we're going to begin with this cable here now it is labeled so notice it is saying audio and this is going to be connecting to the audio um, section here now in addition to that the connections are pretty much easy to do so they are what are described as being foolproof so if you notice there there's one area here that is blocked out and if you look also on the motherboard the arrangement of the pins correspond with this here so basically you are you you are not able to to really make any mistake in doing the connections all right so let's get that in there that's there now in a situation like this where this cable extends in the region of the fan you want to make sure that it is out of the way because when the system is turned on if there's any obstruction then the cable will block the fan and um, that can cause it to overheat but generally they don't overheat because it has a, a temperature sensor so when if the temperature exceeds a particular limit it's going to automatically shut down but you know you don't want to alleviate any headaches this next is the usb cable Mm. so this connects to the front panel so i'm going to be connecting here i notice on the motherboard mm. it is labeled so again note the orientation that so goes into here all right so i have my videographer and next to me video in so sometimes it's a bit difficult for me to see exactly mm. where to connect all right uh, next the front panel and the pins as I mentioned before labeled the motherboard also uh, is also labeled and so that enables you to be able to, to do the connections without making any mistake so I'm gonna begin with this one here which is the power LED So that was there and they connect in a particular pattern so in this situation notice that it is white first followed by the colored cable and then we have the hard hard disk led so when the when the system is on uh, when the uh, when the hard drive is being accessed you're gonna see the light flashing on the front that is what that is for so if i can see yeah and then finally 
uh, this one here this is the reset so this is that for that small button at the front when you press that the system reboots so that's it uh, notice all the cables trying to get the cables as neat as possible and of course you can use tie straps to get them even more secured and neat in the case all right now i'm going to drop in the memory uh, so this is ddr3 and this can fit in any of these slots but notice the notch and the orientation so this will only fit one way if you're trying it and it is not going in then what you need to do is to just check to make sure that it is aligned properly and it clicks in this is our storage and this needs two connections so this needs power and uh, data cable So this here is for, for power and again as i mentioned before if you're trying to connect and um it's not you realize it is not connecting then what you need to do is to you know just check to make sure that you have the you know the uh, connections lined up properly so that's it and then the sata cable that's for the data so these are the sata uh, ports here there are four of them so we'll go with the first one uh, which is here let's check in to make it make sure that i have the connection lined up properly and then the other end goes here okay so that's it and then you know, this can be secured in the case using a tie strap but the final thing i'm going to be doing is to connect the power cables so this here is for the fan and this connects here now the case is a little bit small it's a bit tight now, as i mentioned i have my videographer here uh, so i'm just trying to make sure that i get a good view there to do the connection so that is in all right, just trying to get the cables out of the way so that it doesn't obstruct the fan. Now for the power for the board, uh, there are two connectors. We have the 24 pin connector. So this this adds, this adds gives power directly to the board. And then this one here, two pin, four pin, uh, this powers the processor. So this goes here. I notice the clip here. Uh, remember I mentioned about the connections being foolproof. They fit only in one direction. And then here, that's connected. All right, so there you have it. As easy as that. As I mentioned before, if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna, you know, seem a bit challenging, a bit daunting perhaps. But over a period of time, you know, doing it, it's gonna be a breeze. Finally, what I'm going to do now is I'll sit on the system, see if it comes on, to see if we did a good job. Uh, it's a power and monitor is connected. Press the power button. Alright, so there we have it. So that's it. That is when the connections were done properly. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you again in the next video. Take care.